Okay, so today I'm going to be making a delicious herb recipe. It's chicken breast coated in delicious heavy breadcrumbs. So what I've got here is a, about 100 grams of um, breadcrumbs that I've just made. They're fresh and I've just used a white loaf, but you can use wholemeal bread if you prefer. And what I'm going to do is take um, a bunch of parsley and just going to chop off the ends like that. And you can keep these for later. They're great for um, soups, stocks or anything like that. And I'm literally... First of all, I'm going to start by just chopping it like this, really roughly, and then putting it into a pile. What I'm going to do is take my knife and put it at the top of the pile, the point, and I'm going to bring it to the front and then just put my hand on it and get all over the heap. And then it will flatten that down and just keep going until you're happy. Okay, so I've done exactly the same with some fresh sage, and now I'm just adding it to the breadcrumbs. All of that goes in there, and it brings a really nice aroma into the room, and you can really smell all the fresh herbs. Okay, now what we're going to do is just add half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, of cayenne pepper, and onion salt. And what we're going to do just to make them really crispy is add. Just a small glug. Okay, I'm just going to combine that all together. Until thoroughly mixed through. Okay, so this is the fun bit, what I really like to do. I'm just going to, in a pan, turn it to a really low heat and add just a bit of oil. Okay. Not too much as if we're deep fat frying the chicken, but enough so it really does get a nice crust. Okay, and I'm going to take, I've got here two chicken breasts. And I'm just putting one on a plate. And this is my little method that avoids um, using as much flour. But you, what I'm going to do is sprinkle it on rather than dip it in. And then just rub that all on. And basically, the flour absorbs all the natural juices of the chicken and helps form a really nice crust. And when I've done that, I've got all the flour covered all over all the chicken so that it, can, it feels dry when you touch it. I'm going to dip it in some egg. And this is just one beaten egg here. Okay, I'm not going to make a paste with the flour and the egg. But I just want to coat it all. Okay. And then into the delicious breadcrumbs and literally put them all over it. All the flavours work together to make this just incredible flavour. Okay. Then when the oil's hot enough, cut it up. I'm gonna take my chicken breast and put that in the oil and just fry that on both sides until it's golden brown. As you can see, the chicken has taken on a delicious dark golden colour and I'm just transferring the breast to an oiled baking dish. And what I'm going to add is just about four cloves of garlic, skins on and just crush it, the oil's released, in and amongst there. And it will really infuse the chicken and the breadcrumbs with delicious flavour. Adding the chicken to the oven and it's been preheated to 190 degrees Celsius and that's just going to cook um, until it's cooked all the way through and delicious and tender. Now that the chicken is cooked you can serve it in a number of ways as it's such a versatile dish. I like to serve it in two ways. Cold in a wrap with tomatoes and peppers and hot with parsley mashed potatoes and sauteed leeks.